The University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson is heading up an archaeological excavation to remove and relocate thousands of bodies from a former cemetery at the Old Mississippi Asylum for the Insane. It's part of a program called the Asylum Hill Project, and today representatives from UMC came to the Wayne County Library to invite locals to get involved in that project. The hospital believes more than 160 Wayne County residents who were patients at the hospital may be buried in that cemetery. So Charles Harrington has that story for us tonight. The Asylum Hill Project is a state-funded excavation currently taking place at an old cemetery on the campus of the University of Mississippi Medical Center. It involves the removal and relocation of the bodies of thousands of patients who died at the former Mississippi Asylum for the Insane, which operated from 1855 until 1935. UMC was built on the site of the former asylum. The old cemetery had been forgotten, but was rediscovered during a construction project a decade ago. That's what started this, the whole project about really looking into the true history of the asylum, which is much different from the stereotypical views uh, that many people have. Um, and uh, it, it, it started the, um, the archaeological uh, idea as well, that we would exhume these remains very respectfully uh, in accordance with um, archaeological standards, and that we we would eventually build a memorial for these patients and also try to identify for the descendants um, their relatives who might have been buried there. Gibson was at the Waynesboro Wayne County Library today speaking to the Wayne County Genealogy Organization about the project. The State Department of Archives and History says at least 167 Wayne County residents are among those buried in that cemetery. Now that we have the list, we're very interested interested in helping to see if we can locate some of the families of these patients. Gibson says ultimately, if remains can be positively identified, family members could relocate them to their home county for reburial. She says after the project is complete, the old cemetery land will be used for hospital expansion. Charles Harrington, WDAM7 on your side. Certainly an interesting story there, Charles. Thanks. Gibson says more than 350 graves have been excavated so far, but up to 6,000 patients could be buried in that old cemetery. You'll be able to learn more about the project by logging onto our website right now.